Hey there, folks, Ral here. I'm the sole author of Distal, a new high fantasy D20 system designed to honor the struggles that your characters face over a life of adventure. You can pick up the beta version right now, totally free, or you can pre-order the game to grab a hardcover copy. They won't be available for too much longer since we'll, we're going to be locking down pre-orders later this year. Those links in the video description below. Today, we're going to be talking about the Tangle Folk lineage in Distal. Tangle folk are small, fleet of foot, and short-lived visitors from another plane. If you're familiar with gnomes, halflings, kender, or hobbits, tangle folk are distal's analog to some of those ideas. Tangle folk are often marked by their short stature and infectious optimism. Tangle folk were originally from the Tangled Wilds, which is a lush, verdant plain covered in sprawling overgrowth, where the plants are in a constant, silent war for sunlight and expansion. As with some other species, some tangle folk slipped through rifts in planar fabric, landing themselves in the distal, and from here, they began their new life. One that they took to very quickly, with the existing denizens taking a shine to them because of their optimistic, positive outlook, despite their short, mid-40ish year lifespan. When playing a tangle folk, you are a small creature. This means that you can share space with an ally, you have a plus one to dex, negative one to strength. Your movement speed is 35 feet, which is quite fast, but you have a D6 health pool, which is quite low. Fortunately, you're the only lineage in the game that also has the ability to regenerate health at the start of every turn. This is incredibly helpful, not just in the middle of combat, but it also means that outside of combat, your allies won't need to use their precious resources on trying to get you healed up. As with all lineage, you'll get access to one of three bloodline abilities. The first of which is hypermetabolism which increases your passive regeneration and lets you get rid of a poison condition as a minor downtime activity. Poison in this game prevents you from regenerating health. So it's one of those things that Tangle Folk in particular, given their small health pool, are particularly susceptible to. However, if you wanna focus on just being a little guy, you can choose Small Tactics, which keeps you obscured to creatures that aren't nearby, so long as you share a space with an ally. Being obscured is a precursor to becoming hidden and it makes it more difficult for people to attack you in the first place. So if you're partial to being sneaky, this is a great bloodline to take. Lastly, we have Sticky Feet for those who really want to play up the mobility side of Tangle Folk. Sticky Feet let you walk vertically or laterally along a surface, up to 15 feet of movement. This means that effectively you don't need to climb short distances, or if there's a deep pit in the middle of a dungeon hallway, you can kind of run alongside the walls instead of jumping over it. All in all, Tangle Folk are meant to be highly mobile because they're fragile. They need to control their distances so that their regeneration can help sustain them. This makes them great for classes like the Cut Purse, which is kind of an iconic pairing, but work well for any class that isn't constantly getting pummeled on, like the Jester. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about Distal. And if you dig Tangle Folk or you want to hear more about the game in general, feel free to leave some questions for me down in the comment section below. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.